guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my um, wrap-up of 2017. So I've got my, I've got all the products um, laid out that I'm going to be talking about. I Yes, I have my color-coded cheat sheet. Yes, I know. Um, so I'm actually really excited to share with you um, the products that I have because some of them were game changers this year. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing that I have on my list, I kind of tried to put them in categories. So hopefully, um, hopefully they kind of stay that way. Um, so the first thing, um, that I really think made a difference this year is, um, my it cosmetics CC cream. This is the illumination version. You've heard me talk about this a million times in past favorites and such. Um, but this, honestly, you guys, is amazing. So um, I split this up into, first of all, my shade is in medium, um, but I split this up into different categories. So I split it up as far as, so with foundations, I put um, the, like, what's the coverage? So is it medium to full? And then I put some notes. So for this particular product, honestly, I feel like it's medium to full because you can build it up um, to give it, to give that medium uh, coverage, but I feel like if you needed to, you could give it just a little bit more. I use one pump and that's plenty for my skin, um, but you certainly could use probably two, depending on what you have um, to cover. What I love about this is the fact that it acts almost like a concealer as well. So half the time I usually don't need to use concealer when I wear this. Um, but I overall, this is such a great foundation. It covers well. Um, it's It's got uh, SPF of 50 in it. So you'll be, uh, you've got plenty of sunscreen. Um, it doesn't make my skin look greasy. I always, with the illumination and the the luminous finishes that various foundations have, I always steer clear of that because I have oily skin. But this, even though it says illumination, it just gives kind of that lit from within glow. It doesn't make you look like a grease slick, I promise. Um, the other thing that I love about this is the staying power. This stays on my skin for usually between 12 to 15 hours um, in a day and it looks as fresh uh, at the end of the day as when I applied it first thing in the morning. Now there's some some days where I do have to touch up a little bit because I get oily in my t-zone but other than that it's fantastic. The other thing that I love about it is that it's natural looking so it's it doesn't like I said before it's not like it cakes up on your face which is something that I love about it it looks just like your skin so this is a great product to try um, and this is the jumbo size uh, this let's see and here you're getting 2.53 fluid ounces I think in the other one you get an ounce maybe um, but either way this is gonna last you forever it, regardless if you have the jumbo or the regular size it'll last you for a long time because you don't use very much so that's the other a foundation that I, love about it. I really actually started to enjoy this year um, and I actually have it on today is the Smashbox Studio Skin uh, 15 hour wear hydrating foundation so um, with this particular foundation um, I'm in the shade 2.2 uh, Honestly, I steered away from this for a while. I bought it, tried it a couple of times, didn't really love it, and then I kind of just went away from it for a while. Um, but I just recently started using it again. And I really don't know why I stopped using it. <laughs> um, it's it's a great coverage uh, foundation because it's, again, it's, to me, it's medium I don't know if I would say to full. It's probably, I would say, more in the light to medium range coverage. Um, it's so lightweight on your skin, though. That's really what I enjoy about this, is the fact that, I mean, even with the CC cream, it's the same thing. But I just, I I feel like this does a really good job of covering what I need, what I need it to cover. Um, I... 
so it's hydrating, um, but I don't feel like it, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. I don't feel like it's a glow necessarily. It, I just feel like your skin looks healthy. Um, so I don't feel like it necessarily adds a glow to your skin, but I feel like it just makes your skin look healthy, if that makes any sense. Um, I feel like from my skin, it says 15 hour wear. Honestly, I have put that to the test and it does a pretty good job. Um, I feel like on certain days I have to touch up maybe about the eight to 10 hour mark, which honestly for me, that's really good because usually I have to touch up at like the six hour mark, most foundations. Um, but this one is the exception. So again, this is a great foundation. Um, especially if you have oily skin, I've noticed that, um, this is actually a really good choice for an oily skinned person. So I would suggest you check this out if you've got oily skin or, um, also go with this too, because they're both, they're both great foundations. Um, this is the uh, L'Oreal True Match Mineral uh, Press Powder. This, let's see, I just talked about this in my favorites from November. Um, this is in Buff Beige. So I use this um, as my spot concealer um, setting powder. So it looks like this, it's uh, your normal powder. Um, I really have enjoyed this actually. Um, this does a really good job of covering um, what I need it to cover um, and it does a really good job of setting the concealer. What I really enjoy about this is the fact that it doesn't break down because a lot of times on most um, most powders for me they they tend to either look cakey or throughout the day because my skin's oily they tend to just break down at spots. This doesn't. Um, it doesn't look cakey. Um, I really, really enjoy this. So this is a fantastic powder. Um, I am not sure that you can get this anymore. I think you still can. If I, I'll link all the products down below um, and I'll see if I can find where you can get this. But, um, cause I don't think they sell it in the stores anymore. Um, cause this is an older product, but uh, I, I really do enjoy this. So this is a great, um, great other setting powder while we're on that topic for um, the all over face uh, is, let's see, the Maybelline uh, Master Fix uh, Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. Again, I just talked about this. I talk about this one all the time because, ooh, as I, <laughs> as I make a mess. Um, because I feel like I'm never gonna be done with this powder. I mean, seriously, you guys, I've used this so much and there's still a ton in here. Um, this is a great, powder if you've got oily skin um even and even if you don't honestly it's such a great uh such a great powder it doesn't doesn't make you look cakey um it keeps your skin matte i only put this in the t-zone because that's only that's the only place i need it um but i i really really enjoy this this is fantastic so i i feel like throughout the day it doesn't make my skin, uh, it m keeps my skin matte. So honestly, if I could give a longevity for this, I'd say six to 10 hours probably is, is a good, good, uh, good bet on this. So my this is a under eye concealer, though. this is a game changer. So I've been using the Fiona Styles uh, full cover peach corrector for a long time. Um, and I, I don't get me wrong. I love that. But I recently got a, um, a few months ago, I got a trial kit of the, of all the benefit, uh, Boeing concealers. So benefit recently, um, repackaged and I guess renamed, um, the erase paste. So now it's called brightening concealer. Um, so looks like this. Um, I'm in shade number two. I have it under my eyes today. This is awesome. Um, I've made, honestly, I don't know if you can, you'll be able to tell on camera, but I've made a pretty good dent in this and obviously you don't use very much. Um, but I love this. This counteracts my dark circles. Um, it doesn't, what I love about it, and I think I talked about this in my November favorites. What I love about it is it doesn't 
um, like if you have really watery eyes, which I do because I have terrible allergies, um, it doesn't peel off. <laughs> so I was using the Pixi Brightening Concealer um, a while ago and when my eyes would get watery, it would literally ball up and like just peel off. So what I love about this is the fact that it's full coverage, it stays put when you need it to stay put, um, and uh, yeah, I just, I, I love the fact that it's full coverage, it stays put, it doesn't like get all cakey and ball up, and <laughs> so um, this is awesome. I really, really have loved this throughout this year. This has been a pretty the, good game changer. Uh, concealer that I use for my spot concealing is the uh, Benefit Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. So it's just your normal normal concealer, right? Um, I'm, I have this on today. This is another game changer. I was using the, um, the concealer that goes with that Smashbox um, foundation. I was using that and that I felt like kind of, I don't know, caked up and just didn't hide my problem areas. It kind of enhanced them. But this, this hides them without enhancing, if that makes any sense. Um, I love this. I, this is fantastic. So, um, yeah, this, those two concealers were definitely a game changer. Before I forget, for I did not this put year. this on my list, so I didn't want to forget. So, um, the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, I have been using this as my, um, under eye setting powder. So I use this shade right here. This is the, I think it's the beige highlight. Yes. So this is the beige highlight and I love this for setting under your eyes. It's such a great powder. Um, because again, it smooths it out. It kind of gives almost that flawless look to your skin, which I actually personally really enjoy. So, um, this is a great, great palette. Um, yeah, and honestly, all the shades in here are fantastic. It's just that um, th this shade right here is what I've been using the most. But I have used um, this as a bronzer, and it's fantastic as well. So this is a great or eye primer. Tested. So I have been using for forever the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Um, it's just, it's a your normal beige color, right? Uh, this, I feel like, so I just talked about this and I was using the, long ago, long, long time ago, I was using the um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance and that for whatever reason, they changed the formula or something with it because it made it greasy and just didn't apply well. So then I moved to a drugstore um, alternative. It was the Maybelline Long Lasting Eye Base. And that one I feel like is the most comparable to this. Um, the only thing that I didn't like about that is the packaging because that was a uh, hard plastic so you couldn't get every last bit out. With this it's a squeeze tube so you can even cut this open if you needed to. Um, but I feel like it's got great coverage. It doesn't make your eyeshadows crease. It lasts all day long. Um, yeah, this is a great, great little primer. So um, that has been in my rotation for quite a long time. I think I so even mentioned it last year. Um, I have been, as I have it on my eyes today, uh, Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. Okay, let's just take a second. Hopefully the camera's focusing. So this palette, you guys, it's fantastic. It's it's really fantastic. Um, here's a look at the palette if you haven't seen it yet. I love this. So I just feel like it has a great range of shades. So you could go really deep and dark right here or come over here and go super light, right? So you've got a lot of options. Um, the one thing that I really like is that they're all matte. Um, the honestly the payoff with this is fantastic i mean the mattes are i mean Too faced always does a good job but i feel like this is pretty exceptional so let's see i'll just give you a few swatches 
Okay, so there's three of the shades. I'll put them on the back of my hand. Okay, so you see those shades? So here's the thing about these. So they don't kick up a lot of um, fallout when you put your brush into it. Unlike the Lorac eyeshadows, they do that. So um, I I really, really enjoy this palette. So it's, I really, I just, you can create so many looks with it. Um, I just, I really have enjoyed it. So this, this was another, probably another game changer because I don't really um, go for a lot of mattes. So, so that was a good one. The, um, I have a couple different blushes. So for fall, and I have it on today, it's the e.l.f. Uh, studio blush in blushing rose this is amazing so first of all this little thing is three bucks okay the pigmentation is fantastic uh, I feel like it gives you that just came in from the cold uh, look uh, to your cheeks it's just amazing I feel like it's the most comparable to the uh, NARS orgasm blush so this is fantastic. It's, I think it was in my uh, rotation last year when I did this. So um, it's a two time winner so far. The other so blush that great. I have been using um, is the Milani uh, Blush and Romantic Rose. I also think this was there. This was in my wrap up last year too. So this is a two time winner. This is amazing. I love this blush because again, it's that same lit from within uh, just just came in from the cold kind of thing. It's awesome. I freaking love this. So um, Both are great. I kind of did this options. backwards, but oh well So for face primer, I have a couple different things. So just recently when I ordered the uh, Just peachy palette I got as a sample the Too Faced um, Primed let's see primed and peachy face primer you guys Yes, this is fantastic. So first of all, it smells like peaches, right? Second, I love how it makes my skin look. So I feel like, first of all, I love the fact that it dries down and it doesn't add like this greasy texture to it. Um, I wonder, I don't know if it's, it might be silicone based, but I, I love it. It's awesome. And it gives this cooling feeling to your skin. It's fantastic. I love this so much. So this most definitely was a game changer. I think I'm probably going to end up going to Sephora and getting the full size. Cause the other one I that love this. I have been using is the Becca, um, the backlight. I think. I think it's the backlight. Yes, um, the backlight priming filter. This is also amazing. It's one of those that gives you oh. I forget so this one was matte right this one however is uh, it gives you that it's not necessarily a lip from within glow it's it gives you a little bit of a glow um, but it's not like in your face which I personally appreciate because of my oily skin um, but this is awesome it also gives the same effect of it's not greasy it dries down very well um, yeah, it's, so it's for brow gel, I, this. I, this is a two time winner <laughs> again, because it's the next control freak brow gel. So, okay. This is fantastic. I love this. This is six bucks at Ulta. I have used two tubes of this. So this is fantastic. My eyebrows are unruly as I'll get out, so I need as much hold as I can get. So this is awesome. The other I product love that this. I just recently was using, so this is a first time winner, um, is the Benefit Gimme Brow. My shade is number five. Um, so I have it in my eyebrows today. This is actually really good. So it's a, uh, it's got fibers in it. See if you guys, hopefully you can see that. Um, but I love this. It doesn't, so my eyebrows are already pretty full, um, but I do have some sparse areas kind of up here in the front and then kind of towards the end of the tail. Um, and this does a great job. So 
both of these together are like unstoppable. So for setting these. spray, this was, let's see, I think this was in last year's as well. So this is a two time winner. It's the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. I'm almost done with this. I'm down to like nothing. It's down way down here. This is fantastic. I used this today when I finished my makeup. It is fantastic. I just feel like it it gives that um, uh, that what am I trying to say the the look of no powder so it doesn't leave a um, a powdery look it makes that all go away and it gives almost a flawless finish so this is great and it's only I want to say like eight bucks at Walmart that's not bad at all so it's fantastic and you get uh, just over two ounces so it's mascara awesome. I love this um, the L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise this is awesome so what I love about this is first of all my big thing is transfer so it doesn't transfer on my uh, brow bone or under my uh, lower lash line it doesn't clump it doesn't flake uh, it stays where it needs to stay and this is not the waterproof one. So it's fantastic um, I feel like so I have to curl my eyelashes, but I feel like this mascara actually holds the curl whereas I was using the I think last year I put the um, It cosmetic superhero mascara on this list um, Now I'm not saying that that's not a bad. That's a bad mascara. It's fantastic. I love that mascara, but I just feel like this does a little bit more because I felt like the IT Cosmetics one didn't really hold the curl very well. Uh, this one, however, does, and it's fantastic, and it's only 10 bucks. So, yes, please. It's fantastic. The lipstick I that love I have it. been wearing a lot is the, uh, it's actually a rediscovered product. Um, it's the L'Oreal Lilac, uh... Shiny Full Coverage Lip Color. This is in the shade, let's see, um, 201 Lackey Charm. This is a beautiful color. Um, it's that that nude, uh, that really deep nude color. Um, I love this. So this has been really um, nice. It's obviously full coverage. The thing that uh, you probably it's a little bit drying, so you probably would want to make sure that you put a lip balm on before you apply it. And the second thing is you probably would want to reapply throughout the day because this only lasts on me about four to six hours. So, um, yeah, but other than that, All right, my friends, fantastic. well, I believe that is everything for my wrap-up of 2017 with um, beauty products. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you um, some... Uh, ideas of what some of my favorites are so that maybe you can go out and purchase some of them if you'd like to. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas as this I think will go up after Christmas. Um, and I hope you have a great 2018 and I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.